Hi everyone. Today I'm actually out in the fresh air. I'm feeling the warmth and yet the cold. I'm hearing the birds and I'm surrounded by, you know, nature as well. And I could be surrounded by people, but yet I would still feel very lonely because so many people in the world today are telling me that they feel lonely. You know, they have no one to meet for a cup of coffee. You know, they're saying they're shy. They're saying they have lost friends. And I think all that has happened just over a period of time. But one thing I would love you to all do would be to help to heal that loneliness and to help to allow you to meet friends and to connect back to nature as well. I would just say to you, look on yourself as a beautiful flower. Just look at this beautiful flower here and see yourself as this beautiful flower. Pick one somewhere, a flower you love. And when you go out and to overcome loneliness, I'm afraid you have to go out. And I know you can become very depressed when you're lonely and that stops you even going out, but you've got to make the effort. And I would just say, when you go out, think of yourself as that beautiful flower and that you are shining. And go out for a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, go to the park and just say you're walking around a park, you know, and you see someone sitting on the bench. Why don't you go and sit, not on top of them, you know, one end of it, and say hello after a few minutes. Because you never know, that person could be lonely too and is hoping that someone sits down and starts to talk with them. It is to make friends. We're all, I'm even hearing from children saying they're lonely. You know, and I ask even children, why are you lonely? And they tell me, well, I'm shy and I'm not able to talk to the other children in school. I'm so shy, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm nervous. So if you're afraid and you're nervous and you're feeling down in yourself or you're feeling anxious, you've got to, in a sense, say to yourself, I'm this beautiful flower, look at the bees. I'm like a bee even, you know, I'm going to take off, I'm going to take off in flight. I'm going to make the effort not to be so lonely. And I'm going to ask my guardian angel to help me. I will know that my guardian angel is right there with me every single step I take. And every time I think of myself as this beautiful flower, or you could think of yourself as a beautiful tree, or even as, you know, the bee or the bird, and you're in flight, you're going to make friends, you're going to make the effort. And I know it's not easy, you know, because we have to make the effort and we are scared. But everyone tells me, you know, they're just so afraid. And I would just say to you, ask your guardian angel to help you. Ask your guardian angel to give you the courage to take the next step. You know, we all need to take that next step to help to wash away as much of that lonely, loneliness as possible. Because at different times in one's life, we do feel lonely. And in a sense, it's even to acknowledge that. And a little lesson I could give you to do, you could get yourself a copy and write down how lonely you feel. But write down as well, you know, why you feel lonely. Um, and write down maybe three or maybe five things that you can do to help to take that loneliness away. And one of those things is to reach out for friendship, reach out into nature, go and make that effort, be that flower, you know, let yourself shine. And in a sense, you know, ask your guardian angel to help you to take that shyness away. You know, that you say hello to someone. You start chatting to them about 
anything or nothing. And you might meet that person again another day in the very same place. And you start to become friends, acquaintances. It doesn't mean you, you live in each other's house, but you become, you know, I'm going for a walk today and maybe I'll meet Mary or John and maybe I'll be going into the cafe and they'll be there and I can say hi and sit down and have a little chat with them to help to take away that loneliness. So write that letter and ask your guardian angel to help you to take that next step. And I, it's like even look down at your feet and see yourself taking that next step. That is so important for you and believe. And I know your guardian angel will give you the strength and the courage because no loneliness is, oh, it's, it's horrific. And I know we say depression is and anxiety is, but when a person is lonely, they lock themselves away. And I don't want you to lock yourself away. I want you to come out into the world and see yourself as a beautiful flower, you know, and shine and see, what would I say? I, I even can see a butterfly over there, you know, on one of the flowers. See yourself as a butterfly. You are beautiful and there's no need for you to be so lonely. So make that effort and ask your guardian angel to help you. And I know you can do it. Give yourself the courage and the confidence. Give yourself that hope, that light. Don't be afraid to say hello. Don't be afraid to smile. Allow nature and life into your life to take away that loneliness. Allow people to feel your friendship. You know, say hello. Say, how are you today? You know, stop and and, you know, say hello to somebody, even that stranger. So I'll just leave you with that. The only one that can get you out of your loneliness is yourself. And I know you can do it because I know you have a guardian angel right there with you. And your guardian angel is helping you. Because if you're watching this, it's your guardian angel that has said to you, watch and listen. And your guardian angel wants you not to be so lonely anymore. Well, I want you to be smiling. I want you to be saying in a few months time, well, was I lonely? I'm not anymore. I have made a friend or I've made umpteen friends or I have become so full of confidence, you know, that no matter where I go, I enjoy myself and I'm not lonely. So love you and bless you. Bye bye.